Welcome back to another rig review, and today we're going to take a look at another rig from Pro Rigs. This one is Charlie. Charlie is part of the kits pack. You can see this here. Lots of cute designs. I'm not just starting because it's at the top, but I love yellow at the moment. He's super cute. Love that design. And of course, you can find these all on my Animation Buffet site as well. I will link to Pro Rigs, of course. You will see other rigs as well. So if you have anything you want me to look at, feel free to send me rigs. I'll add them to my list. It's a long list, and I will check it out. So let's get back to the rig. There it is in all of its glory. It's super cute. I love that outfit. I love the modeling on this. It's great. May I may or may not have the same jacket. I'm really into yellow right now. Anyway, this is the main con. Move this around. Then you got, and by the way, there's nothing on the channels. That's all you have. You cannot scale. Here you cannot scale either, but you got your global scale on this controller you have all the visibility on off of course you can choose whatever you want on that that's cool you get your gimbal controls you can see this here that one's activated so you have your extra movement there and you can see where this goes in and out so you got the hips as well body polish and that means you get your bendos start this right now up there you can see this is all fully movable can't scale though but that's that you have your face polish that I will leave on for now. And then you have clothing extras. So you can see here as you go in, you can adjust the, like this here. It's nice little pivot from the back. There's open close, so you can move this around. I would actually love a pivot from here. I know these are not maybe these type of glasses, but anything where you can, it's not just a pivot from back there but you can pivot from this to move them around and shape them and maybe round them out. I think a few more controllers on the glasses would be kind of cool. Uh, let me see what else is on there. I'm going to go like that. So you can see this here. And you can see you have a pivot on there. Obviously, you can take them off. Then you got the lenses rotate like this and you can change the headspace, yay or nay. Um, but I think just any type of extra control where you can move this separately to really, I don't know, tweak them and any type of shapes you want to get on there, uh, I think that would be kind of cool. Then don't forget, you got these here. So on something like this, you want to make sure that you got all the, the fluffiness that you can get. You can see there's nothing inside there. So you'll get his body. That's his, his jacket. You got the pants, onward style, and then you got the jacket. It's very cool though. All the way down to here yes so you can move whatever you want can you scale oh you can you can do all kinds of fluffy stuff with him what else is there clothing extra i think that is mainly this all around there's nothing on the sleeves arms go back it would be cool to get controllers here so anything that i'm missing no so clothing extra is that it would be cool to have just around here, let me bring up the other tool here. So imagine you got controls all around, or maybe like one bigger controller, to move all this back because his arm, you can see here, that geometry goes all the way back. So it would be kind of fun to scrunch up the, the sleeve, um, potentially all the way back, you know, to here. So you kind of can push his sleeves back. I think that would be kind of cool, given that we have already that much control over the, uh, the outfit. I think that'd be kind of awesome. You have geometry visibility, of course. You can turn this all on off, which is awesome. And then you got here geometry complexity. You can see if we do this here, how far we go. And then, of course, geometry, you can do normal template and reference so that when you select your controllers, it doesn't select the geometry. Speaking of selecting too, I have here everything on. So if I put on polys, it's like this. Usually you have NURBS controls and that's it, all right? But it's not. It's actually also NURBS surfaces. Then you get these extra ones just as an FYI. And since this is in the middle, as always, you can drag this down for another pivot here. And now you got the character thing fly around with the pivot properly in the uh, center of gravity of the chest there. That's kind of cool. Then we have this here in the middle, kind of in the middle. And then you can change, well, let me just grab all of these. You can see it's gonna go all wonkers, but you can change the colors, exposure for all of these. You can see all this here, all the way down. And then you can change original and custom and so on. So that's pretty cool. I love that level of detail. 
Let's go to the feet. Classic foot stuff. All works. Here you can see that's where the controls of the outfit come into play. So you don't have that intersection there. As we do this, you can see the knee does not follow. So for you, that will be either like this. And you can have a follow pelvis world and foot and so on. You have pin knee, which is awesome. So sometimes when you select the controller, you have here in the options a way to move the knee. So it's not just using uh, this as a controller, which sometimes can get lost or goes behind it. So sometimes rigs have here, they have like a pivot or like a spin or whatever the control name would be called. And this is not here. I think that'd be kind of cool. Same thing for arms. So if you select here, you can see there's nothing here. So be on the actual arm or foot um, selector here, you would have something that makes you move the knee around. That, that Was that English? I don't know if that was English. But that would be kind of cool. But if you do select this, you got your foot roll like this. So this is your front and back foot roll. Foot bank on the side, which is awesome. Criminally underused, dare I say, in stone work. You got the heel pivot like this. Toe pivot like that. You got your toe spin. It's like the, the cigarette butt squasher. Whoa. And then you got some crazy foot squash. It's awesome. And then you got the option here. You can do a toe move can you scale translate no that's all stuck to that then we have here so this switches to ikfk leg of course as we have this here like that i like that this is lower because otherwise you can't see it because of the the uh, vest here that's actually pretty clever world space of course you got some changes there uh, then we have upper leg stretch you got your lower leg stretch you got volume compensation so if i grab my foot of course, I'm going to go back to IK here and then grab the foot. And it's going to be like this. You grab that controller and then you can see volume like that. Then you have auto stretch, yes or no, which would negate all of this. And then you have foot scale for that. Of course, this is on both sides. And again, this is for your knees with the uh, pin knee, which is super important. It's such a pain. You've got to pin the knee manually. Then we have this here. You can see how this moves under the uh, the vest to potentially reshape things. Then we get to this part. Again, do it like that. These are your hips. No scale. This is just a translate and a rotate. Hold on. There you go. This is your rotate. Then we go up to here. This is your root. There's nothing else in the channel. So you can see that arms are IK. Then we go one up here. And then you have your rotation like this you also have your translates like that and this is going to be the same thing up here with that you can always see here no no scale on that one and then on top of that you also have shapers like this this is not for the vest this is for the spine this goes all the way up to the upper part go like that and of course translate you get all of this you also have the breathing function you can see this here maybe show it like that some nice breathing there. Well, like how it goes into the stomach as you into like that. And then, of course, as it said here, you have the volume compensation as well. And we go all the way up to the neck. So we can move it like this. And then also in here, you got what the alignment is world or chest. You have a neck tense controller. And let's go actually out this way. Well, I might as well grab this one. You got shoulders. This is for allow twist the RNA. And then we have the IK arms. As always, these are fully IK arms. You can see that the wrist stays put. You do have, of course, auto stretch. So this is on or off. And then just like with the legs, you got this here where you can switch to FK. Now you get all your FK controls on the arm. And you got the stretch, all the conversation. And then we have fingers here. So let's go back down. You have Obviously, individual ones as well, right? Meaning you have controllers to do this. This goes all the way up for that. And then we have this main controller here. Not sure what's going on with the textures. This might just be me. Let me just double check. Yeah, it's the skin diffused texture. Bit odd. So that might be something to look into, especially something like that. Just a bit, a bit strong than that texture change. Then going back to you just quickly, as you can see here, we have, you know, stuff like that to move this in both rotations here, but you can do this, obviously, left and right. You got display like that. You got the curl, 
slide, which is always very interesting because that's a pain to do. I love that that's in there. You got the scrunch, like that as well. And then you got your thumb curl in here. And then you have arch, which is also really important to add. Not too much. You got the cup and then all the way to this rotation in both sides. And of course, whoa, hand scale as well. And then, of course, the backside here, you got the pin elbow and this as well. And this, of course, on both sides because it is a human. <laughs> both sides here. We can go, as you can see here. Then let's get to the head. You got a bigger controller here. So you can see here, this will, like in default, check this out. The, uh, the head is slightly tilted forward. You can see this is all at zero. So this will be... It's not like that at default, you know, slightly straighter here. So it just as an FYI, you have head size that you can way tweak like that. There's squash and stretch that is in one direction. You have the align world or neck, but of course you got down here with these two, you got your squash in the chin mouth area. And of course more whoa, directional in the head, if that's what you want there. This, by the way, is also a hairline <laughs> adjuster. I love this. can scale, it's just basically just one thing in terms of rotations, but you can twist this around however you wanna do this. But that's pretty neat. Again, that's that on the head. And since we have ears, you got bigger ear movements here that possible. You can also scale if you want. There's nothing in terms of maybe like an ear lobe control there's nothing more detailed that's what you get on that going down here we have that's an overall nose controller that you can see like that which you can also scale then we have the upper part here you can move all of this here then we have the lower part to do this we have the tip and as always you can see in the channels there's nothing else there that's what you get and then we have this which also awesomely has flare in and out, which is great. Let's go down, let's go down to the mouth. Let's check this one out. We have, well, let's open the jaw here. We have open jaw like that, and then slightly over there. Then you have a bit of a chin control like this. Of course, we have the bigger mouth corner shapers. Since you're out there, we got the cheek ones as well, which includes a puff. <laughs> you can go crazy with those puffs. And then we have bigger controls for this and then smaller controllers to fine tune that, of course. We also have, actually, let's go back, keep this slightly open. We have this one in the middle that moves the whole thing around, but you can also rotate, which is great. This is something that's also criminally underused, just if you wanna do like a quick blocking of some asymmetrical shape, just to not use all the, uh, the controls there. Then, if you go in there, you got your nose follow, yeah or nay. And then we have the upper lip here. You can see you can take this. You can also puff it. There is thickness in both sides. And of course, we can also, oh, we can't. Oh, there you go. That's what I'm saying. Rotations. And this is for lower and upper, of course. And then we have, I'm going to show here. There you go. You can see how this jaw, uh, gum, I mean, gum and teeth. So this is down here. You can select this and you can see this part there. It's also selectable obviously down here, but I was looking at these guys as they poke out. Let's go a bit further down. There you go. And maybe we can open up this here. So you can see these including tongue controls all the way back. You can see the base is here and let me check anything in the tip. Sometimes the controllers on the tip, no. But you got your tongue controls right there. It's all very detailed, I love it. Then actually goes quickly out. You got your eyes moving around. Well, let me show you this first, okay. All right, this kid is not at the dentist. Let's close the mouth. Let's go up to the eyes. So we have, here's the thing. You're gonna select these, do both, and open his eyes like that. There is not, select these two and go down. 
What I would love is either on something like this or maybe like on this bigger move here, you have squint and you have skew, squash and stretch. Like you got a bunch of stuff that's really cool. I would love a, a basic blink. It could be on here too, which it's, it's not. Like this is for the eyes, including just separate eyes. But something that gives you, just like you have quick poses in your fingers, right? So when you do like that type of stuff, crazy stuff here, but you have like a, a basic mover for all fingers, it would be great to have a controller just for the blink. And the other thing I would love to have is actually the eyes open by default. So you know the eyes open, if I, if I hit this and go back to zero, I know that's the default open eye. And here we don't have it. And I don't know, that might be personal preference. I'm, I mean, it is a personal preference, but I would love for this to be default at zero open. And then you put in whatever numbers to close it. That might just be me. But you have that. And of course you got shapes out here to move all of this, all of that. You have this here to move your eye like this. You have lids follow eye or not, pupil, you got it like that. But you also have texture movement, which is cool. Dilate, you have squash and stretch. And you got the highlight changes there, including the texture movement, and all that good stuff. And follow eye or not, which is really cool. I like all that stuff. Like I said, this one is here in the middle. And then, of course, we have eyebrows. So you got this one in the middle to go like that. You got this one here to do this. You can also select this to move this a bit more. You can see the folds in the skin, which is cool. Again, you can move all of this separately for any kind of reshaping here, just for that middle part that's important into this. Very cute. Speaking of general shapes, like uh, like I said here for the hand poses, right? So it's say you have your curl. I always select like multiple ones. <laughs> Poor guy, I'm breaking his fingers all the time. Let's say you have a curl. Something that would be kind of neat too. And I would say most rigs don't have that. But if you select it's the jaw, or like this main selecting here, right? That moves the whole mouth. Something that's like a, a quick select, even maybe if you pull forward to do kind of like this shape here, but not through a translate, through a channel that's kind of like a, a ooh shape or something. Sometimes that's that's convenient. I don't know if people actually like that, because then you got to go back in and do things manually anyway. And I wouldn't recommend doing a general shape. And on top of that, that as well, in a pinch, but it can get very confusing. It's a funny shape though. Um, I don't know, something potentially to consider. Uh, same thing with this. So if I move this up here in whatever form there is, some people, including myself, I do like a clavicle auto follow just to give give us an immediate move like this. And then you can manually, manually uh, tweak things. I think that would be good. You can see a nice information on the color here. Speak of which, let me just quickly go back. One more thing, clothing extra. That's that, but I don't see anything in the middle here. But I would also love just in case on the color side here. So ESL, if I'm not pronouncing this correctly, but around here, it's not a color, it's a collar. <laughs> that, so we can move this around as well. So this could be something to uh, bunch up this area, potentially, I don't know, like whatever. Whenever you have clothing and you already have controls, which is awesome, it would be great to have, you know, I mean, I know this will potentially slow down the rig, but I think anything on the sides, like the sleeves, the neck area would be kind of cool. Love that design. Come on, this guy. There you go. This is not exactly posed out, but he seems so sad already. He's so cute. I love, love the design of this guy. And then you see there are no laces. That's probably also smart. So you don't have to animate these. And again, for clothing, I mean, you can see that the uh, the ankles go up. So it could be something where you would have controllers here just to, to move up the pant legs just a bit. And if you want to be super detailed, it could be something where you can rotate potentially the, uh, what's it called, the lip or the tongue, I believe, of the shoes, right? There's none of that here. That could be something. So if I turn all of this on, right, this is what you get. You get all of these controllers, but there's some areas, unless I'm missing it. Nope, no, it's not there. And the neck area is not there. Picky stuff, because it's already an awesome rig, but since this is a review, that's something I would love to have, just slightly more control 
in this area here here like I said let's see how this guy moves all right so I did the simple with you know simple things in there little pops here and there but it doesn't have to be crazy just enough to see how does this perform and I have an older computer by now so it's not that shabby if I look at, let me see so complexity is at one at zero and then you can see this but here you go at two getting a bit <laughs> it's almost like uh, on twos and stop motiony which is more appealing but yeah this is back to zero definitely smooth nothing crazy again in terms of animation but you can block things out pretty quickly no adjustments on uh, the clothing it's just with hips shoulder stuff in there so little offsets here and there but it all functions pretty well uh, one thing that happened and I've, I remember seeing this on the monkey rig as well is that once you get into let's get into this here actually select this guy and then you have your foot rolls foot bang foot roll once I got into this and I started adjusting things you can see here there's nothing it doesn't sometimes you can middle mouse drag and it just doesn't adjust anything it's it started to work at the beginning and then it just started taking it out now if you go in here you can adjust you can see here it is definitely working it's not like it's not working but I would have loved to see that or I don't know, maybe one day in the, in the future I'm sure it will get addressed obviously but it's just an odd thing it, it started to work and then suddenly you can see here foot bank is working um, and maybe I can replicate this but then suddenly it just stops working so that could be foot bank there you go so now now I'm trying to get in there but it's not it's not working anymore so I would have to go in there and use this manually obviously it's gonna look wrong but just to give you an idea of what's going on here yeah I mean then you can you can key obviously you can do everything by hand but it would have been interesting to get to get that look that other than that yeah it's all super cute easy to block out and again I have an aging machine you know I'm not into the the 30 or 40 in terms of the the cards uh, and this all works really well I mean obviously I can I can scrub through this. Let me see. Bring this up here. Scrub, scrub, scrub. It is no problem. So that's something that's super important. Like once you get into something where it just gets really slow and you can't really judge it. Obviously, I would still do a play blast of this. But it's just, it's definitely interesting to see that on my computer still working really well. There you go. There you have it. Any questions, as always, let me know in the comments. Uh, let the creators know. They respond very quickly. They're awesome people. And I will continue to go through the rigs. And that's it from me. Thank you for watching.